This is Russell Springs, Kentucky, and this is me. I like money. So why am I here in the middle of this agricultural field without so much as a video game in sight? Well, I guess except for that graded Super Smash Bros. Melee there. Well, because believe it or not, that is a video game story. That's right, folks, Player One Gaming. All right, so here we are at the actual building, Player One Gaming, nice sign there. Smile, you're on camera, oh dang it. Freaking hate being on camera. Can you get that camera out of my face, please? And here is a look inside, folks. Here are the owners, Alan and Joshua. Thank you guys again so much for having me out here. I love what you have done with the place since the last time I was in here. It looks fantastic. Yep, we've done a little bit extra since the last time you was here. We've been putting out more games. We've kind of tried to center everything together now on one side. Well, and given the space, it's such an impressive selection that you have in here. I'm going to do a little bit of poking around yeah. and uh, see what kind of stuff I might be able to come home with. Alright folks, it looks like this corner over here may be some of the higher end stuff, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe this is just an average corner, I don't know, but <laughs> I'm gonna start going through and picking out some random stuff that catches my eye, making a pile. He said that he could make me a little bit of a deal if I buy a good bit. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm just gonna start going through these shelves, telling you guys the kind of stuff that is catching my eye. This uh, Super Sluggers, for example. Oh, feels like it is complete. That's something that's been doing well on Amazon, so we'll go ahead and put that on the counter over here. Down here we've got Ooh, some Pokemon Fire Red versions. 75 is, is not too bad on those, so I may pick up a couple of those. I'll have to double check the Amazon price on those. Ooh, and what could this be right here? Dang, folks, a sealed GameCube game. Woo! Got a little, bit of, a little bit of separation there, so it's not like a super pristine seal or anything, but still not something that you see every day. I'll have to look that one up. You guys know I just, I can't, I cannot stay out of the GameCube section. We're gonna have to, gonna have to stack some of these guys up over here and see, see what kind of a deal we can work. So folks, to give you kind of an idea of what I'm looking at when I'm taking a look at these prices, I've got the Amazon seller app pulled up on my end over here to try to gauge a little bit what I could net on this stuff after fees. For example, this one's $39. The lowest copy on Amazon right now is right at $40, so it's pretty much the same. This one's in very good condition, so I could maybe sell it for more, but uh, I'll go ahead and take a look at the competition, scroll through, do all that boring stuff that you guys don't want to see and then determine whether or not I should put it in my good old buy pile. Oh, this is super random, but I actually have been needing another Switch charger recently, so that one will go in the personal buy pile. <laughs> Always love looking at these older disc games too, especially like the big name franchises, Jurassic Park, 40 bucks I know, I've sold this one before, that's gonna be a solid deal, so we'll go ahead and put that on the stack. Then what else? Ooh, check this out, folks. Dang, a sealed greatest hits Final Fantasy Tactics. That is not something that you see every day. I don't know, 85 bucks. I'm not familiar enough with Sealed to uh, know whether that's worth it for my purposes, but either way, super cool to see. Ooh, another great thing to look for, folks, is crossover fighting games. I'm not sure if this one in particular is worth it, but this is the kind of thing. Tatsunoko versus Capcom. Ultimate All-Star is definitely another one that I'll be looking up. Alright, folks, so here is the stack as it sits so far, and Alan just made us an excellent deal on this one as well. This was marked at uh, 120, but he said it's the kind of thing, it's been sitting a long time time for them, uh, so he was willing to accept 75 for it, which is great. They normally go in the like 100 to 115 range, and this is the kind of thing that I'll throw up in an auction, and if someone gets a great deal on it, awesome. Uh, but either way, it'll make the uh, auction preview look a lot better, so kind of a win-win for me. So you guys know one of the things that I look for most often is handhelds. So I'm curious on some of these. Is this um this Game Boy Color that looks like a pretty sweet reshell there, if I'm not mistaken, or is it a case or? It's actually reshelled. Yeah. It's got the uh, light, everything that's been redone in it. Oh, okay. It's backlit. Yeah. Hopefully they got Does the it battery on. Does it have battery? Yeah. It looks like this one uh, might not this be. This ran down. <laughs> that's how it goes. They, well, yeah. They've probably been sitting a while. This one's super yeah. cool though. This one's actually like a limited oh, edition, right? Or is this a reshell as well? Uh, that is a reshell too. Okay. Sometimes we get them in and it really runs. Oh, out. dang. Check that out, yeah. folks. I just love that look, so that's why we done that. Yeah, I know. That's really cool. Uh, I'm guessing you probably don't have a lot of wiggle room on that one though after the um, work. 
we could probably do 150 on it to be honest 150 with you. Mm-hmm. i'll go ahead I'll, I'll throw that in for 150 okay. that, and it's just so it's it. just so interesting like this yeah. is the kind of thing that like if i don't end up keeping it myself honestly i'll i probably will because this reshell just looks <laughs> so cool but even if i don't like it's the kind of thing that like maybe i throw it up on ebay and a viewer sees and like maybe i'll maybe i'll sell it honestly for 170 but it's just so cool i love selling stuff like this and then speaking of nes shells on handhelds we've got another one here but this one i believe is actually original is that right yeah yeah i love the design on that it is one of the older 001s uh 110 yeah if you could i might that might that's the kind of thing i might be interested in as well 75 75 yeah let's let's throw it on for 75 that's a good deal and then this um little cobalt sp down there is there anything wrong with that guy this in here yeah the blue one not that i know of everything should work great on it okay because um, this one just got some scratching and stuff on the mm-hmm. i see okay okay a little case there all mm-hmm. right well i'll throw this guy in the in the pile as well all right so folks this is something that i almost never buy on this channel uh but he did say that they had 10 apiece on these evolution plushes and they seem really high quality. Uh, I kind of like them. And he said that he could actually do five a piece on them. So I may take one each of Glaceon, Sylveon, and Leafeon. Y'all didn't have any other, like, ver- is it just these three just that you have? Three. Okay, well, I'll do, I'll do one of each of those because I just, I think they look nice. One thing that I love about this store in particular is your selection of like vintage to modern action figures like it's just not super common to see everything from twisted fairy tales to batman stuff to like horror one of the best ones i saw up here legend of dragoon gargoyles just a fantastic selection of uh action figures at this store and look at this guy folks i can talk yeah actually i'd rather you didn't guy Oh, hold on now, folks. Smash Bros. Brawl for 10 bucks? All in complete two? Not bad. <laughs> Look at this, folks. Look at how thick this Skyrim guide is. I honestly thought this was a phone book. Holy cow. And this is super cool, too. A Final Fight Arcade 1-Up. Is this something you guys are selling? Yeah. How much are you asking on it? Oh, there's the sticker up there. 375 looks like. That's cool. <laughs> All right, folks, here's the update. I took another look over here in the uh, somewhat higher end games section, came away with Spider-Man, SmackDown Here Comes the Pain, another SmackDown versus Raw, X-Men Origins Wolverine, and limited edition Godfather the game. This is another good one to look out for at 20 bucks. That should be a solid deal for Amazon. Oh, and also uh, Ruby and Sapphire, the absolute classics. Folks, the funny thing is I've accumulated quite the stack over there, but this entire wall behind me I have not even touched all of this 360, PS2, Wii, Wii U. One question that I get fairly often on Instagram and comments and stuff is people asking, Caleb, do you think that Wii U stuff is going up in price dramatically in the near future? It's very possible. I'm at my core not a speculator. I am a seller. So I'm looking to buy stuff that I can move now rather than throw it in a box in a closet and you know cross my fingers that 10 years down the line it's worth more i would guess in reality it probably will be because not a lot of this stuff was even made but personally speculation just isn't my game all right folks so i've been doing a whole bunch more scanning over here just checking out every little game that catches my eye over here and i've ended up coming away with a pretty decent stack of stuff that i think should do better for me on amazon than can do oh geez <laughs> i just knocked my head on that thing We've got uh, Toy Story 3 for 18, Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix for 17. By the way, thanks, shout out to the uh, Masters of the Universe Beast Man for being my uh, game stand right there. Beware the Beast Man. We've got Godfather the Game, which didn't have a sticker, so fingers crossed on that. A couple complete copies of The Herbs for uh, 9 and 10 bucks. Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures for 16 is not bad. 
complete Peter Jackson's King Kong for eight, Transformers, Tokyo Mirage Sessions for 17, and this one is sealed, and finally, The Simpsons Game. And this is one that I'll say I pick up fairly regularly across multiple systems because it does hold pretty solid value. And oh, take a look at this, folks. I didn't even realize that they've got a DS section down here, too. I always like checking these out as well, especially when they're nice and complete like this. I mean, Wordfish, maybe not, but there could be some gems down here. I'll have to take a look. So for example, sometimes I know Ben 10 games can actually do decent. That's definitely one I'll look up. But I don't know, 15 bucks for a sealed Mario Kart 7 is not bad. All right, so I did end up picking up SmackDown vs. Raw 09, little wrestling game theme today, and also that sealed Mario Kart 7 for 15 ended up being a good deal. And I just saw right above the DS games, is check this out, the PlayStation game section. I found a couple of those that are worthwhile. The first one, Ninja Shadow of Darkness for 15, not one that I've bought a lot before. And then also, check this out, Courier Crisis. I just love the artwork on this, this dude on a bike punching a man in the face. That guy's eight bucks and you can see here on Amazon we're looking at at least 19 after fees which is pretty solid so this is another kind of item that I almost never buy and sell but I just I have to show because they're so freaking cool check out this selection of figures here folks holy cow these things are amazing and then you go all the way to this side look at this a $90 infinity gauntlet a $175 dragon battle I don't even know what franchise that is and then this halo figure over here for 65 bucks these things are just just amazing. Okay, folks, so Alan just informed me that you can actually put this thing on. It's not just for display, so I have to try, I have to try this out. The end is near. What's up? Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Snap. Oh, wow. Yeah, you guys better hope I don't snap my fingers right now, or at least half of you will disappear. Now, this thing. It's godlike. Thank you for the business uh, today, Alan. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> I just found another few solid deals over here. We got a sealed Just Dance 4, which will be like, I don't know, 30-ish on Amazon. So that was a solid deal. Found Getting Up on the PS2 for 15 as well. Also in the like 30-ish range after fees, I'd say. And then Need for Speed Most Wanted was a great deal. Probably because it's disc only, but that's all right. For uh, five bucks, should still bring in the 30 range. And folks, last but not least, looks like we've got a lower dollar GameCube section over here, which you already know I can't resist. What's catching my eye? right off the bat. Uh, Need for Speed 2, 10 bucks is not bad. I'll double check that one. Harry Potter's good. What else here? I know Sims will do well on Amazon. Yeah, that feels complete. That's a good one. Uh, sometimes superhero stuff can do... Uh, that feels like it's missing the manual, so I'll pass on that. Maybe Dragon Ball Z. So I am going to go ahead and pull the trigger on these two GameCube games right here. Just wanted to say before I go and check out and tally up everything. One, shout out to Avery up there, one of my Discord mods who I just met physically in person at this store randomly and if you yourself are looking to resell more video games that's a membership service that we have it's linked in the description for video game resellers specifically and the last thing is folks I love giving my money to local mom and pop shops like this highly encourage everybody out there too as well if you're in the Kentucky area look up player one gaming and more generally just support your mom and pop local video game stores all right folks so here is the final stack of everything that we are coming away with today. Definitely a hefty little pile, plus the charger, the plushes, a couple of handhelds over here. So, Alan, what is the total damage for this purchase going to be? Okay. Actually, give me before and after discount. Oh. 891 just for Eight, this. 891 just on this yep. stack, okay, because this stuff we pre negotiated. Yep. And we're going to do 30% off, so that'll leave it at 623. Wow. Well, thank you so much for that. You, you definitely don't have to do that, but uh, I appreciate it a ton. It's a pleasure. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And then, including all of this stuff, what is the total final for the purchase of the day? Looks like the total will be 983. Nine eighty-three, just shy of. The, I might have to go ahead and <laughs> find some seventeen dollars to spend somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so how about this here? I found Forza Horizon Two. This is normally twenty. Would you do seventeen on it? 
17. <laughs> All right, there we go, folks. There you have it. A $1,000 purchase. Uh, I couldn't be happier. Thank you guys so much. Seriously. You're welcome. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'm going to put the first time I ever encountered this store in the suggestions right down here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all on the flip.